In this video we're going to look at dividing monomials and we'll just start with an introduction on page 0 where we've got some numbers then we'll do page 1 these examples page 2 these examples and page 3 these examples okay so let's start with page 0 we'll just get a quick introduction so dividing monomials again monomial means one number nomial number mono one okay so one number so it's one number divided by another number now 30 over 20 as you know is 3 over 2 right we know that because you divide top and bottom by 10 what I want you to do is write that write this down 30 over 20 equals right 30 over 20 equals okay I want you to factorize both numbers completely okay 30 is 3 times 10 but that's 3 times if you factorize 10 what's that 10 is what times what 10 is 5 times 2, right? So if we factorize 10, we get 5 times 2. So 30 is 3 times 5 times 2. And on the bottom, 20, right? That is 2 times 10. And what's 10? 10 is 5 times 2, okay? So what I want you to see is that when you factor out a number like that, you can then cross cancel common factors and then you have your answer. 2 into 2 goes once here and here. See that? What else can cross cancel? So I want you to write this down please. 5 and 5 goes once here and here, right? And what do we have? 3 times 1 times 1 is 3. 2 times 1 times 1 is 2. So that gives you 3 over 2. Now what I want you to notice is that's just like having letters. Instead of numbers, let's say we had letters. Imagine we had uh, C E B C times E times B all over B times E times B. Okay? In this case, these are just three these numbers being multiplied. Okay? Just like three times five times two over two times five times two. Okay. So it's a monomial over a monomial, one number over another number, you know, and, and as you can see, like it's just like thirty over twenty, it's just one number. Anyway, um, you can cross cancel common factors. What are the common factors? B is common, right? And what else? The E's. So write this down. Cross cancel these. E's cross cancel, and you're left with C times 1 times 1 is C over B times 1 times 1 is B. C over B. Okay? Now, um, if you have squares on numbers or letters, it's the same thing. Like 2 squared, just for fun, let's just write that 2 times 2. Okay? And 2 cubed, what are you going to write that as? 2 times 2 times 2. Now you can do the subtraction, uh, uh, the division property of exponents if you want to, but, but like in, for, for this section it might be easy just to expand them out and cross cancel because it'll make you sure you don't make a mistake and it's kind of nice to really understand what you're doing. So uh, if we cross cancel common factors, 2 into 2 goes once here and here, 2 into 2 goes once here and here. Now, you tell me what's the answer. That's 1 times 1 over 1 times 1 times 2. Write down the answer to that. Tell me, is that is the answer 2 or 1 half? And are they the same number or not? So here's a common error. Is that answer 2 or 1 half? Which is it? See what I mean? Okay, so... 1 times 1 gives you 1 on the top, 1 times 1 times 2 gives you 2 on the bottom. The answer is 1 half, not 2. Okay, Not 2 over 1 or just 2. See, a lot of people say, oh, there's a 2 left over, the answer is 2. But that is not the same thing as 1 half, so watch out for that. And I'll give you a similar one, 2 squared over 2 cubed. How about, let's do a similar one. What about x squared over x cubed? You see, you do that the same way. x squared over x cubed. It's just like 2 squared over 2 cubed, right? x squared, write it x times x, and x cubed, x times x times x. You can put the dot in between the letters if you want, but you don't have to. You can just leave it out. Because if you write two letters beside each other, it, it implies that they're being multiplied. Anyway, if you cross cancel, what do you have with this? x and the x goes once, x and the x goes once. What else? x and x goes once, x and x goes once, and what's the answer? Is it 1 over x or just x? Which? 
Remember up here, the answer was 1 over 2, wasn't it? So what's the answer here? See, at the top we have 1 times 1. That gives you 1 at the top, and on the bottom, 1 times 1 times x. 1 times 1 times x, x on the bottom. So 1 over x is, is the answer here, just like 1 over 2 is the answer here. Okay? And let's just do this and expand it out. 10 to the power of 5 over 10 squared would be 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10, right? And on the bottom, 10 squared, 10 times 10. And when you cross cancel common factors, what do you get? So 10s would cross cancel here and here, right? And that would give you 10 times 10 times 1 times 1 times 10. That's three tens on the top, right? So 10 cubed on the top and on the bottom, 1 times 1 is 1. 10 cubed over 1 or just 10 cubed, right? Okay, so just real quick, can you get this for me? What's um, y cubed over y squared? Can you do that one? y cubed over y squared. So y cubed over y squared in the top you'd have three y's been multiplied and on the bottom you'd have two y's been multiplied. Right? Now when you cross cancel what do you get? y into y goes once here and here and what else? y into y goes once here and here, right? and we get y times 1 times 1 which is y on the top over 1 times 1, 1 on the bottom, y over 1. What's a simpler way of writing y over 1? It's just like anything. 3 over 1 would be 3, right? 5 over 1 is what? 5. So y over 1 is y, right? Okay, so that's just the, the intro anyway. I hope you understand that. And then we'll go on to page one now. So write this one down. 36y to the power of 5 over negative 9y cubed. Okay, so what, we gotta, what we're going to do is figure out the numbers first. Now, if you know your times tables, 9, well, what, what's a common factor between 9 and 36? What's the greatest common factor of 9 and 36? See, 3 goes into 9 and 3 goes into 36, but there's a bigger number, isn't there? So if you know your 9 times tables, it makes it a lot easier. 9 to 9 goes once, 9 to 36 goes 4 times. So you have 4 on the top so far. And now let's look at the y's. We've got y to the power of 5, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 y's here. And on the bottom, y cubed, let's just write down 1, 2, 3 y's. See that? And these guys are going to cross cancel, right? These guys are going to cross cancel. So, um, see if you cross cancel your y's, y to y goes once here and here, once here and here, and once here and here. How many y's do you have on the top? So you got two y's left on the top. So we have four y y on the top, and on the bottom we have a negative one 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 one, right? Negative one times one times one times one which is just 1 over negative 1, right? Now, can you write that with less ink? Can you simplify that further? So we, has, we have a positive over a negative. What's the sign? Positive over negative is a negative, right? 4, and what's y times y in a simpler form? With How do you write y times y with less ink? y squared. And if it's over 1, it's just itself, isn't it? Right? That makes sense, doesn't it? I mean, if you had 2 over negative 1, what would that be? 2 over negative 1? So, positive over negative makes negative. 2 over 1 is 2, right? What's 7 over 1? 7 over negative 1, I mean. 7 over negative 1? Positive over negative? Negative 7 over 1? 7, right? Okay, so... Um, have a look at this one. Negative 5a squared over negative 45a to the power of 3. Okay. So let's deal with the numbers first. What's a common factor between 5 and 45? Well, 5 goes into both, right? So we can do 5 into 5 goes one time. 
5 to 45 goes 9 times, right? So, um, and, and just for fun, I'm just going to, you can do it step by step. But um, let's see, uh, just so uh, what we do, what's the nicest way to do this? Um, I'm kind of tempted to write this. Well, we could do the sign positive or negative over negative. What's the sign? Negative over negative gives positive. So the sign is positive, right? And then we have on the top 1 times a squared, which is just the same as a times a, right? And on the bottom, we've got a 9 and then a cubed. So that's a 9. And what's a cubed? a times a times a, right? So I'm just doing it step by step. I mean, you can do the whole thing in one go if you like. Most students probably want to do it in one go. But I just want to lay it out just so it's nice and clear for everybody. So when you cross cancel common factors, a into a goes once here and here, right? And a into a goes once here and here, right? So what do we have now? Well, it's positive, right? And on the top, you have 1 times 1. So the answer is not 9a. Okay, 9a is not the answer. Okay, that's wrong. What is the answer? You on the top you have one times one, so that's a number one on the top. Okay, and on the bottom, nine times one times one times a, which is nine a. So it's one over nine a. So the trick is to have the um, energy to actually write down your ones. If you don't, a lot of students don't bother writing the ones and that's why they, they give silly answers like 9a and get the whole thing wrong after all that hard work because it's not right, 9a is wrong. The answer is 1 over 9a. And The way you make sure you don't make a mistake is to take the time to actually write these ones in here and here. See that? So please press pause, write this one down, do it all yourself and hopefully you'll get it right. It's negative 7b over 21b to the power of 4. Okay, I hope you pressed pause and tried it. I'm going to go over it now. Hope you pressed pause and tried it. So we'll start with the numbers. 7 into 7 goes 1 time. 7 into 21, 3 times. Okay. We have a B here. And then this B to the power of 4 means you got 1, 2, 3, 4 Bs on the bottom. Okay. If we cross cancel Bs, B into B goes 1 time. B into B goes 1 time. That means that on the top I have negative 1 times 1. And on the bottom I have 3 times b times b times b. Okay? So anyway, negative over positive makes a negative. Okay, so that's a negative fraction. So I'm going to put that negative sign in line with the fraction bar like that for a negative fraction. Okay? On the top, 1 times 1 gives 1. And on the bottom, I have 3 times b times b times b. That's 3b cubed. So the answer is negative in line with the fraction bar. 1 over 3b cubed. Okay? Okay, let's go to page 2. x y squared over negative 7 x squared y. Please write that down. 28xy squared over negative 7x squared y. Right? Please write that down. So, I'm going to cross cancel the numbers. 7 into 7 goes 1 times 7 into 28. 7 times tables. 7 into 28. 4 times. Right? Now if you look at your x's, you've got one x here, and here we have an x squared, which means you've got x times x. Okay. If you look at your y's, you've got a y on the bottom, and then y squared means you've got two y's up here, y times y, right? So I'm just going to write it all out just to make it nice and neat. Put 4xyy all over negative 1xxy is what we have when we expand it out. And I'm just doing that because it looks neat. 
and I just want to make it really clear on the video. Now, of course, you could cross cancel he over here. You don't have to write every step out, but I'm just going to do it so at least I don't make a mistake. So anyway, if you cross cancel common factors, x and x goes once here and here, right? What else? Y into y goes once, like that, and make sure to put your ones in. And so now we have a positive over a negative. Let's do the sign of this thing. See, a positive over a negative gives negative, right? And on the top you have 4y. So the negative is in line with the fraction bar. Negative is in line to the fraction bar, right? And on the top again you've got 4y. So that's 4y on the top. What do you have on the bottom? So we've taken care of the negative. And on the bottom we just have 1 times 1 times 1 times x. We just have an x. So it's negative 4y over x. And that's the simplest form of the answer there. right? So press pause, write this one down and do it. It's negative 6a cubed b squared all over 18a times b to the power of 5. That's a 5. Okay. So pl please press pause, write this down, do it yourself. Okay, I hope you've written it down and tried it yourself. Please make sure to try it. That's how you learn is to make mistakes while you're doing the video so then you can watch how it's done and maybe learn something from it. Okay. Um, in fact, you know, the best way might be just expand this whole thing at the beginning. Because look, negative 6 and then a cubed. If I take a cubed, that's a times a times a, right? If I take b squared, that's b times b, right? And on the bottom, I've got 18, and then I've got an A, but then I've got five Bs, B to the five. One, two, three, four, five, okay? So the easiest way, again, like actually might be to just expand the whole thing out at the beginning even, you know? And now if we cross cancel, B into B goes once, 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 a into A goes once, A into A goes once, right? So 6 into 6 goes one time. 6 into 18 goes 6 times, okay? So I've got a negative over a positive. What's the sign of the fraction going to be? Negative over positive gives negative, right? On the top of the fraction, what do you have? Got 1 times 1 times a times a times 1 times 1. That is a squared. On the bottom of the fraction, 6 times 1 times b times b times b times 1 times 1. What's that? That's a 6. And then we've got 1, 2, 3 b's. So that's b cubed b to the power of 3. Okay? So negative a squared all over 6 b cubed. Right? Page three. I'm going to do this one step by step, and then hopefully you can press pause and do this one yourself. Okay. So let's write this down: negative four times x times y cubed times z to the power of four, all over twenty-four x squared y cubed times z. Okay. What I want you to do is expand. The best thing again, actually, is probably just to write the whole thing in expanded form. So at the top, negative four, and I've got an x. Right. Okay. And then we've got a y cubed. Y times y times y. We've got a z to the power of four. Z z z z. And on the bottom we got twenty-four. We've got x squared. X times x. We've got y cubed. One two three y's. We've got a z. There's a z, right? Now, cross cancel common factors and get your answer, right? So press pause and take your time and do it if you like, if you need more time. If we look at the numbers, 4 into 4 goes one time. 4 into 24 goes how many times? If you know your 4 times tables. 4 into 24 goes 6 times. Okay. X into x goes once. X into x goes once. 
Okay. How about the y's? Y into y goes once. Y into y goes once. Y into y goes once. Like that. Right? How about your z's? Z into z goes once. Z into z goes once. Okay. So on the top we have all these ones and then these z's here. And let's do, sorry, first of all I should probably do the sign. This, we've got a negative over a positive. So what sign do we have? Negative over positive gives negative fraction. Put that negative sign in line with the fraction bar like that. That's how it should be in your answer. Okay. Then we've got 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 and then times 1, 2, 3 z. So that's z to the power of 3. Right? On the bottom, what do you have? You got a 6, a 1, an x, and then 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Right? So we just have a 6 and an x and then the whole a whole bunch of 1's all multiplied. So that just makes 6x. Right? Negative z cubed all over 6x. So please write this one down. 24x cubed y z cubed all over negative 30x squared y squared z cubed write it down and then get the answer and check the video to make sure you get the right answer so write down so press pause on the video press pause and then do it yourself and then check to see if you get the right answer okay I hope you tried it yourself I'm going to go over it now for anyone that needs to to have it a little bit more help. So x cubed will be 1, 2, 3 x's. Then we've got a y. Okay. Then we've got z cubed. That's 1, 2, 3 z's. On the bottom we've got a negative sign, a 30. An x squared, 2 x's. A y squared, 2 y's and a z cubed three z's. Now, so hopefully you've got that much. If you haven't got that, uh, please fix, you know, do it again or, or fix your answer and, and just keep going. Press pause and keep going. Okay, so I'm going to keep going now. I hope you've, you've tried it. So, with the numbers, if you know your six times tables, six and the 24 goes four times. 6 and the 30 goes 5 times. Let's look at the sign. We've got, oh, sorry. Let me keep cross cancelling. X and the X goes once here and here. X and X goes once here and here. Okay. How about the Y's? Y into Y goes once here and here. How about the Z's? Z into Z goes once. Z into Z goes once. Z into Z goes once. See that? Now on the top. We've got a 4 what, times 1 times 1 times x times a bunch of 1's. And on the bottom, 5 times a bunch of 1's times a y and then a bunch of 1's. Now, forgot about the sign again. It's a positive over a negative. What's the sign going to be? Positive divided by a negative gives a negative, right? Again, sorry, on the top, 4 times 1 times 1 times x gives 4x on the top. What about the bottom? 5 times 1 times 1 times y times a bunch of 1's 5y. Notice that in this problem the z's cross cancelled, okay? Because it was z cubed over z cubed, they cross cancelled. Up, up here the y's cross cancelled, that was y cubed over y cubed, right? 